Welcome to the Weather Goose Podcast for Sunday, December 12th, 2023. We're going to first start off with the severe weather update, and then we're going to gradually get into the overall United States lower 50 update, and then we're going to be talking about some hazards that are going to be coming in the area. Right now, you're looking at the radar out of Tallahassee, Florida, and we have some severe thunderstorm warnings here for these cells that are moving north, northeast very fast at 44 knots. Uh, these are producing gusty winds, strong uh um, possibly pea-sized hail as they come through the region here at the Florida Panhandle into um, southern Georgia. They're continuing to push along here. As you can see the strong line here is producing some. There was some rotation earlier in Gaston County, Florida, north of northwest of Tallahassee and into Georgia. That has since died down, but there is still a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for these areas here. So we're coming along I-10 through Tallahassee. East or west of Tallahassee, be very careful. These storms are producing heavy rainfall and uh, some gusty winds and some lightning as well here. Um, and it extends all the way out towards the west there, toward Panama City, Port St. Joe, Apalachicola, and on up into southern Georgia, heading toward I-75 from Albany, Moultrie, along US-319 and US-84 there in Thomasville and Bainbridge, Georgia. These are storms that will continue to push in, through all day in association with a strong, staunch cold front that brought tornadoes to the Middle Tennessee Valley there. So we'll get back to that in a minute. But we right now, we have the severe thunderstorm warning for Franklin, Gaston, Leon, and Gulf Counties. This expires in 31 minutes, along with a severe thunderstorm warning and... Um, uh, Liberty County and Wakulla County is just south of Tallahassee here. So if you're coming along 319 South, anywhere from Crawfordville, Woodville, um, through those areas, Sop Chop, you want to be very careful there as these storms continue. There's also marine warning extending out toward in the Gulf of Mexico here that expires in about five minutes here. So that's a marine warning. So small crappy advisory for water spouts out here. Gusts of 40 miles an hour, 40 knots, excuse me, and small hail. Water spouts out here along the coast here. So if you're coming along the coast here, if you're out here from Mexico Beach out to Port St. Joe, Apple or Caribbean. Be very careful. There is a special marine warning out here for these cells that could produce water spouts out here. As you can see, they're lining up in the fashion here as well. So that is the only warnings that we have in those areas, and they're set to expire very soon here. So that's good news. That is the good news for that location. Now moving on to the advisories here. Nationally, we have of course the severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, our watches, severe thunderstorm tornado watches um, that are extending outward of that in the southwest Georgia corner. So if you're in Blakely, Georgia, Albany, um, Thomasville, Moultrie, Tifton, uh, those areas to the west of I-75 in southwest Georgia, there's a tornado watch extending toward probably later on to the, to the day um, in the evening. So be very careful out there. There's also a... Um, uh, a winter storm advisory on, from the, from the, on, the, on the north side of this system. Up top, we have winter storm watches and winter storm advisories. Um, and the green mountains of Vermont, the white mountains of New Hampshire, upstate Adirondacks of New York, um, through the Tug Hill Plateau, of course, guys, you know, just typical snow belt areas. You're expecting some significant accumulating snow, anywhere from the order of six inches or above. And, of course, that trails into the mountains, the higher terrain, the spine of the Appalachians, from Spruce Knob, West Virginia, down through Horseshoe, Snowshoe, West Virginia, down through the typical high areas of North Carolina, of Boone, Mount Airy, um, North Carolina, and et cetera. And the great highest peaks of the Great Smokies there, Clingman's Dome, and stuff like that. There is a, um, a, a winter, winter weather advisory in effect for those areas. Areas. Now, outside that, we have flood watches because we're going to get rain on that I-95 corridor. So from Baltimore, D.C., Philly, New Jersey, Trenton, um, up through New York City even, there's a there's a flood watch in effect um, all the way up through Boston, Hartford, Providence, uh, uh, you know, Nashua, New Hampshire, up through Portland, Augusta, Maine. There's still that flood watch chance there as these storms continue going. The good news is this front is going to be moving through quickly and being replaced by heavy winds on uh, Monday. But there's going to be some backside with snow on the backside. Now, out west, we have just the typical warnings. Winter weather advisories way up there in the, in the, in the northern Rockies and Bitterroot Chain to Montana, Stove Piper, Idaho, and eastern Washington, as well as some parts of eastern Oregon. And uh, nothing else is going on that's too, too terrible. There is the typical red flag warnings for the Santa Ana winds and Southern California, up in the high San Gabriels and um, Santa Monica Mountains there. So be careful if you're coming through Ventura County, uh, north of there, north of, north and east of L.A. there. Red flag warnings in effect. Don't be burning anything you're not supposed to. Now, we mentioned earlier that six dead after tornadoes in the rip through Middle Tennessee. So those in Hendersonville, um, Gallatin, Rutherford counties, uh, our prayers and thoughts 
and in Clarksville, our prayers and thoughts are with you. Uh, initial damage reports, of course, will be done by the National Weather Service in terms of what EF rating these get. But um, people that were on the ground said there was a lot of damage to buildings, structures were damaged, cars were tossed or buried, vehicles tossed, and trees and power lines strewn across roads. So obviously, it was a pretty strong tornado for a winter tornado. And this year, we've been blessed that we haven't had a really severe weather season, season that was prominent so far um, for winter time or, or for late fall. But now we're starting to get into it, and you can see 50,000 people in. Tennessee were left without power as of Sunday morning. So uh, Clarksville and Montgomery County was hit hard, as well as um, some other ones, Hendersonville, Gallatin, Madison, Tennessee, um, and those uh, northern, maybe those northern Nashville suburbs and toward the Kentucky line up I-65 there and I-24, and also to the east of Nashville suburbs like I said those suburbs that were hit by these tornadoes so you can see here some damage occurred here courtesy of AccuWeathers.com Brett Adair um, showing us the damage you see all these bricks on top of this car here and uh, so it was a pretty powerful tornado here we'll get the rating preliminary rating by the National Weather Service by the end of the week um, my unofficial rating just looking at that uh, probably EF2 type damage you know um, possibly you know a high-end EF2 uh, damage. So what we have to see, that's unofficially, I'm just saying. So now, guys, this is the national picture. Like I said, that cold front is bringing rain all the way through the valley here from Pennsylvania all the way down through the mid-Atlantic and all the way back toward the Florida Gulf Coast here. These showers will continue to make their way eastward along the Atlantic seaboard here along this cold front, bringing back temperatures back to reality here, back toward Chicago, St. Louis. Temperatures will be much colder behind the front, and snow showers will continue as a little clipper system comes here to bring some snow showers from Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, up through the you know typical snowboat areas of uh, uh, the UP of Michigan as the winds change direction here to the northwest. So they get a brief bout of snow and that will be it. Out west we have the same thing. The snow in the middle of the country it looks fabulous. From Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, and Minneapolis looks absolutely fabulous and out in the southwest it looks fabulous. So this is your forecast for today. Enjoy the day. Get out and enjoy it. And uh, this is the Weather Guru signing off. Take care.